This week on Sport Fishing, we're taking a group of kids out from the city of Montebello who've never been on the ocean before. This is a Dan Hernandez Youth Foundation trip, and for all these kids, we're going to try to catch them their very first fish. We'll be fishing aboard the Sea Angler today out of San Pedro and fishing the local waters. So stay tuned for this week's exciting episode of Sport Fishing. I'm Dan Hernandez and I live to fish. That's a nice vermilion right there. Yeah, this is what fishing's like. I have been fishing along the Pacific coast my entire life. Let me bring you in in the action and share with you some great fishing tips along the way. so far today. Right on. These taste super good. You get pretty good meal? Oh yeah. If you like sushi, these are really killer sushi. Rebecca. This is an even better eating fish than the last one you caught. This is a red snapper or vermilion rockfish. That's his stomach. When uh, you bring a fish up from the bottom really fast, the, their stomach blows up. I don't know, like, have you ever heard of divers getting the bends? It's the same thing. So we can, we can pop that and it'll go down like that. Nice fish. All right, this is Rebecca with her fish, beautiful fish. We're gonna take a little break from the action here on the kids trip from Montebello for the sea angler. And we're gonna go to the tackle box and give you a good look that the kids are using today to catch beautiful fish like this. Congratulations, nice fish. Okay, so I want to show you guys how to pin on a bait. 
And this is the rig we're using, dropper loop rig. You just have one hook. Now for the squid, it's really important that that squid dangles like this. So when we put it on, we're just gonna slide it, hook through it once, flip it over, and then one more time. So we want it just like that, nice and dangling. So when it's in the current, it's moving. If you ball it all up there and you put the squid like five, six times through there and balls up, the hook will never go into the fish. So we want it to ball, just want it to, to go in the current like that so it's bouncing around in the current and the fish will bite it. All right? Now for the live bait, we have anchovies for bait. So to pin an anchovy on, when you have a sinker, you're just gonna grab it and in front of the eyeballs, right here in the bottom of the jaw, you just take the hook and you go right through the nose, just like that. So it's still alive. You don't want to put the hook through the brain back here. You want to go in front of the eyeballs. All right, and then we would just drop this to the bottom. Any questions? You guys ready to go fish? All right, thanks for being here. Have fun. Let's catch some fish. Instantly want to hit that bottom. Another one here. Just like that, just one. Nice and easy. Keep the rod out. Looks like you got a fish. Let's see what you got. There you go. Okay, stop. Stop whining. And we'll lift it up. Don't be afraid of it. It is poisonous, so you got to be careful. Just get it out like this. Uh, let me see if I can get this. I will use those. I got it. There you go. Here you go. What's your name? Maxwell. Is this your first fish? Have you fished before? In the ocean? Oh, yeah? All right, cool. This is Maxwell from Montebello. He just caught this fish. A beautiful sculpted. And all these little spines on them, they're all poisonous. So that's why you have to be careful so we don't want you to get stabbed. All right, so just like that again, just drop it all the way to the bottom. And when you get the fish up, when you see the fish right on the surface, stop there and then we'll lift the fish up. Good job, get another bait. Did you know that wolf eels aren't considered eels? They are actually a type of snake, fish, or wolf. That's right, they're actually a type of fish. Fishing before Austin? Not on the ocean, on a lake. On the lake? It's your first time on the ocean? Yeah. How are you liking it? It's fun. Okay, good. What do you think it is, Ellie? <laughs> I don't know. 
around, do you? Here, sure. Woo-hoo-hoo! Here's our skipper, Cameron, and this is an eel that one of the kids just caught. You can see the teeth there. Real dangerous. But these are pretty good eating, aren't they? They're delicious. Yeah. I've never cooked one up. It's good. It's like a, it's got like a lingcock consistency and a sheephead flavor. Cool. I eat these things full speed. Oh, well, let's keep one. I want to try one. Oh yeah, they're good. Uh, all right, let's hold it up. So this is a wolf eel that one of our kids just caught. Just one of the different things you can catch here out here with all the kids having a good time. So our skipper's got us on this spot where the kids are catching all the fish. Doing a good job, man. My pleasure. So we're exa well, not exactly where we are, but roughly we're what, in front of Long Beach, San Pedro. Yeah, we're uh, a couple of, about six miles in front of San Pedro, fishing a couple of hard bottoms and rocks, and a couple of other wrecks and stuff around here. But all kinds of variety, all kinds of bottom grabbers, and uh, apparently the long slimy ones too. So we'll take them all. Little exotics. Oh yeah, exotics. All right. Exactly. The kids are having a lot of fun. Let's take for a little break from the action. We're gonna give you a little fish fact on some of the fish the kids are catching today. The California scorpion fish, commonly known as a sculpin, can be found in waters from Baja California as far north as Santa Cruz. The sculpin is the most venomous member of the scorpion fish family in California and must be handled with great care. They eat primarily crabs, squids, octopus, shrimps, and other small fish. Instantly want to hit that bottom. All right, guys, so we're, uh, we're out here probably about seven miles out, right out of uh, San Pedro here on the Sea Angler. We're catching some nice sized sculpins, some reds. Uh, we're using strips of squid. Uh, we're going to get some anchovy going out in a minute. Hopefully, we catch some grouper, uh, a couple things like that. But she's having fun, she's smiling. All these kids are learning uh, new things, and uh, hopefully, they'll keep coming back out. So, yeah, let's get some steals, have a good time. What number are you? 26, all right. Okay, you ready? Stop. I really don't know. Woo! Oh my god, look at the size of that thing. It looks like something from Jurassic Park. Woo! Oh, it's insides are coming out, huh? That was great. What's your number? Two. Two. Woo! That is good job. Do I keep it? This is way better than the cartoon. Yeah, I'm way better with that video games of fishing. See? Made a believer out of you. Yeah. Bring it up this one. Stop whining. Slide it up. Okay. Come on, get in here. What's your name? Isabel. Isabel. Was this your first time fishing? Can you fish before? In the ocean or, or lakes? Um, with this company. We went last year. Oh, okay, cool. All right, well, here we go. Nice fish. This one's gonna taste good. Nice job. And what was your name again? What was your name? Isabel. Isabel. Isabel just got this beautiful little sculpin. What we're gonna do right now is one of our volunteers here helping her, and they did a good job getting her on the fish. She brought it all up by herself. So we're gonna take a little break from the action here with all the kids from Montebello and go to the galley and show you how to cook up one of these delicious fish to kiss are catching today. Nice job. This week in the galley, we're back at Eat Street with Kate here in Anaheim, California, and she's gonna cook up a delicious dish for us. And what do you have in store today, Kate? It's traditional fish, as in fish and chips, like British style. So we'll teach you the quick way to make it happen. Cool. You're gonna make a dredge, and then you're gonna make a beer batter. So the dredge is two cups all-purpose flour, a tablespoon of salt, 
a tablespoon of pepper. Toss this really quickly, and then the beer batter is going to be two cups of all-purpose also. Take a fizzy light beer, pour it in there. Put a whole beer in there. Three tablespoons of paprika. You're going to do two tablespoons salt. I'm going to stir this up, kind of like a pancake batter consistency. You want it to be thick. Take each piece of fish, put it in the flour salt pepper mixture, and then through the batter. You want to help me? Sure. And the paprika is why the beer batter looks red? Yes. When your deep fryer's at 375, you're going to take all your pieces of rockfish and put them in at once then into your fryer. Your rockfish are going to take about four minutes, but it's all about looks. Looks like fried chicken, 10 times better than that. <laughs> You're gonna cook it for about four minutes. After four minutes, pull it out, shake it around, make sure nothing sticks. And you're ready to go, nice and crispy. Put it in the malt vinegar, traditional style. That's so good. Good. <laughs> it's a beautiful, simple dish to do. The beer batter. We showed different beer batters in the past, but I've never seen a red beer batter. It's that. very simple. I mean, at the end of the day, there's only about five ingredients. Mm -hmm. With the right fish, it's great. Anybody can do this at home. Yes. I bet you this would be great with squid, too. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's very good. Do you catch those? Yes, we do. Oh, man. <laughs> They're lots of fun. We use them for bait Next lots time. of times. But a lot of times we catch them, we eat them too. That's really good. It's a great dish. Thank you, Kate. You're welcome. Thanks, Dan. Remember, it's Eat Street in Anaheim. Thanks again for helping us out. Let's get back on the water and show you more exciting action right here on Sport Fishing. All right, so we've got our uh, second wolf eel here. Oh, what's your name? Rebecca. Rebecca. She's an eel slayer. She just caught a wolf eel a little bit bigger than this a couple minutes ago, and now she's got another one. These are, uh, these are an extremely voracious predator that we get out here on the bottom. As you can see, they have very large teeth, and they've got extremely powerful jaws. If you're not careful, they've got powerful enough jaws to take a finger. That's because they run around here on the bottom eating all kinds of crustaceans, like mussels and baby lobsters and all kinds of other stuff like that, and crabs. But uh, that also gives them a very good flavor. They've got a kind of a lingcod consistency and a sheephead flavor. So as mean and uh, mean as they look and as ugly a creatures as they are, they're actually very good eating. So we love loading these things up on the sea angler. Actually, if you go ask in the office at 22nd Street Landing, I'm known as Wolfie because uh, I've got a knack for whacking these things, I suppose. Oh, nice scoping. Okay, so leave it right there. Now let's just lift it up. Now these are poisonous, so you gotta be careful with them. It's a good size one though. This is a real nice one. So just see if we can get the hook out of this with a pair of pliers. There we go. Now you see all these spines, Maxwell? All those have venom in it. They all got poison. And that's what you want to be careful not to get stuck with. This is a really good eating fish. Congratulations. Nice job. This is Jose, he just caught this beautiful fish, beautiful sculpin. And this is the way I was talking about how the venom, that's the, the every spine on this fish has venom on it. It's a big, beautiful fish, probably the biggest sculpin of the day. Jose joined our kids club with the Youth Foundation uh, over a year ago. So he's out here today with the kids from Montebello on today's charter. And just a beautiful fish. If uh, those of you kids at home that want to learn about fishing, we have a kids club meeting 
the third Saturday of every month over at Lake Lake in South Almonte. You can learn how to fish like Jose did, and now he's out here on the ocean. He learned how to fish at the lake. Everything's free. There's no charge to join the club. It's all free. You can go to our website for the Youth Foundation at dancekids.org to find out about the Kids Club and all the stuff that work that our Youth Foundation does. Today's trip, which is sponsored by the City of Montebello Police Department, they got a, a grant from the Prisons um, Division of the State of California, which funded today's trip that paid for everything for the kids today, the fishing trip, uh, their transportation gear, even the food on the boat that they're eating today was all paid for by that grant. And uh, Jose is just one of the kids that's out fishing with us and a member, like I said, of our kids club. We're gonna take a little break from the action here aboard the Sea Angler. And when we return, I'll be giving you this week's tip of the week. What's your number? This week's tip of the week, the way all the kids caught the fish today was just using a simple dropper loop. We just put one hook. In California, you can use two hooks, but with all these kids, never fished before, we just went with one hook. And the bait they used was just a strip of squid. Just put the hook through the squid twice and have it dangle like this, and it was deadly on those sculpin and rockfish. Fish really bit it really good. So that's this week's tip. You can fish a single dropper loop rig like that, looking for a sculpin, use it just a strip of squid, and it works out good. Well, we had a lot of fun fishing today. This is a trip that was put on by my Youth Foundation. For more information about the Youth Foundation, you can go to danskids.org and it tells you all about our free kids club that we have over at Lake Lake, our lake events, which are all free, and these ocean trips that we do for groups we take out, which is all funded by the foundation too. That's all free. It's just lots of fun. I have lots of fun doing it. It's one of the things that we do here, part of my TV show. and and part of the Youth Foundation. Well, I'm Dan Hernandez, hoping you enjoyed this week's episode of Sport Fishing, and I hope you join us again next week as we go looking for more of the best in sport fishing.